Brexit has been making headlines today. But is it discouraging young Europeans from making the capital their home? Number crunching by London think tank suggests the number of EU migrants coming to London at the end of last year fell by a quarter compared to the year before. Here's our Brexit reporter, Catherine Carpenter. We like to think of ours as a global city, but official figures show there's been a drop in the number of foreign nationals coming to London, particularly young people and those from the EU. Hello, um, you said you were female on the border. Not that you'd know it at this recruitment company in Blackfriars. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Belgium. My name's Geraldine and I'm from Germany. I'm half French, half Northern Irish. As well as having strong personal ties to Europe, their professional success relies on encouraging skilled workers from the EU to come to London. So has that got harder? A common interview question is, of course, that where do you see yourself in one, three, and five years' time? And when people don't know, uh, whether they'll be able to continue in the role in the location they're at, that becomes a very difficult question to answer. I had a couple of candidates who's left, who's left Britain now saying, okay, um, they're not staying here um, after Brexit, but I've also had candidates who said, like, okay, I'm coming now before Brexit, um, which worked out very well and in my favour. But national insurance number registrations were down over 20% in the third quarter of 2017, compared to the same period in 2016. And the sharpest fall was in the number of EU nationals coming here, a drop of 25%, particularly younger Europeans. The number of 18 to 34 year olds coming to the capital was down 16.1%. It's the long term trend that you've seen happening since 2014 when there was a big peak.